The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. Well, we're hopefully going to have Joe DiNapoli on today, but uh, it's iffy diffy, so we'll have to wait and see how it's going to turn out. If not, we'll have him on later this week. We're going to take a look here at the German DAX and the FTSE, and as you can see here, that FTSE had a beautiful three drive to a top pattern up there. And it just topped right on the money. And then you'll notice that the uh, German DAX had a little bit uh, different, <coughs> excuse me, different pattern, had a rally back and then had a very vicious break that's continued. So, uh, you know, these patterns are a little different, but they do have a bearish overall tone. So that's the main thing. Folks, every Sunday, not well, in fact, every day I send out videos of what I think is going to happen. But on Sunday, I send out a sets of four. I sent uh, what I think is going to happen in the gold, silver, stock indices, uh, treasury bonds, forex, and uh, in general, overall, if I see something, crude oil, of course, crude oil. Anyway, this week, uh, the two most important ones coming in for Sunday night was a short on the crude oil because it had such a absolute perfect pattern. It had nine days up right at the 61% retracement. And we met, recommended, you know, sell it if it, uh, it opens just a little bit higher, which it did up around 69.30. We had that nice little rally there right at the 382. And then it broke really badly. But what we were also following here is to see if it was going to follow along with what we thought was going to happen with the uh, AI program. And uh, this is what we had for Sunday night. You'll see that it was showing a bearish bias, which in, it did happen. You can learn how to do those, folks. If you attend the next day trading session that we're going to have sometime probably November, December, we're going to be talking more and more about that. Now, the other one that looked uh, extremely interesting uh, from the short side, of course, was the uh, gold market because I'll explain the gold market in just a second because of the fact that that, that, that was a really important one. And I'll bring the charts up one at a time. But you notice here uh, with the gold, this is where we were last night, and you'll see that we had a nice little uh, ABCD rally up there around 1818, and then we broke uh, all the way down. That We've dropped more than uh, the harmonic number, folks. We're down more than $34 in gold, which is a, uh, it's a substantial amount. So that could be uh, a situation where we could be looking at something really, really dangerous. The reason why... Well, I'll cover one more, of course, and then we'll we'll move on to the other one. The other one was the was the natural gas. Uh, it had very very bullish uh, overtone coming in. It said it was going to be sharply higher. And here again, just by looking at the market where it opened, you'll see that we had a beautiful uh, three drive to a top pattern right at the 1.618 expansion up there at 477, and it's broken 20 handles uh, to the downside. Those are just some of the things that we're looking at. Another, and this will be the last one. And then we will move on to other subjects. This is the NASDAQ, folks, over the last six weeks. And I want to point out one very important point. You can see here for the last seven days, we have been up here at 15,690. And uh, that is a very, very important number. If you remember the chart that we got from our friend Jim Bartolioni, you'll notice here that uh, – hold on one second. Get this up here so you can see it. The ABCD, on the, remember, this goes back to 1974, by the way, boys and girls. You'll see here that that number measures to 16,996, and the high has been 16,704. So it's within $100 of the actual high. We've been up there five times. Uh, so that's a very, very important number. Should we bust through and close above 19,000? <laughs> Let's try it again, Larry. 15,720, that would tell us that the market is most probably going to go higher, but we'll have to wait and see it. Folks, we're seeing a lot of deflationary things happening in some of these markets that is very troubling, and we talked about this before. Let's take a look at our most important crop here in the United States, which is the corn. This is as of this morning, folks. Look how corn has broken down 
I mean, it's just it just doesn't look very bullish. And this is with the most bullish fundamentals we've had. And I know the fundamentals have changed a little bit, but the supply demand is still relatively tight. And, uh, you know, the supply is still a little weak. But, uh, you know, th this is not acting right. Something's not happening. Now, one of the things, and I, and this goes with gold and silver. I, I didn't show you the gold and silver because defy human nature. Do the work yourself. You, you know, I, I try to give you folks as much as I can, but you know, frankly, most people just just don't want to do the work. But if you do the work yourself, you're going to be able to teach yourself how to do this stuff, and it's going to be you know really really easy to do. But it's just it's it's just got you got to do a little bit of work. But just with just with a little common sense, let's just take a little common sense here and see where we are here. Hold on here a second. Where are we? Uh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Larry, I think I lost a chart. Are you kidding me? I am not going to be happy if I lose that chart. Oh, doggone it. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Anyway, if you'll go and look, what I'll do is when we come to the break, I, let's just do it right now, and then we'll just get it out of the way because it's that important from my perspective and I think your perspective also. So just get it up. I want to show you why you got to be really careful, you know, being uh, long gold in here. Let me show you the reason. Well, there's several reasons. I'm going to give you the big reason right now. This is the gold miners index that we're going to be looking at right here. Now, remember, we got gold. We've got gold way up here, and then look where we are with the uh, with this GDX, the gold miner index. And this is mean. And not only that, we got the stocks going straight up, and this certainly hasn't been, you know, very very bullish. What we just had was a 10-day rally that equaled the exact 10-day rally that we had last week. That was another reason to think that wow, maybe this is a reason why gold is not going to go up. But there's a bigger reason. And I, we're going to start a little quiz today. Anybody that gets the quiz right and, and emails me why it's correct, all you have to do is read the newsletter if you want to do that. That'll tell you the reasoning. But if you do that, you'll see that why gold and silver have a possibility of making a major top last Friday. We've already seen silver, boys and girls. I mean, give me a break. Even, even a, a third grader, and we talked about this uh, on the show Friday, actually, uh, you'll notice here when you look at this, uh, look where silver went to, folks. We went right exactly to the 382. Now, defy human nature and do the same with your work on gold and see you'll see why there's a possibility this could be a very significant high. Now, if it turns around and silver gets above $25 an ounce again, that changes the whole ballgame, but we'll wait and see. Yes, today is a new moon. It's also the first day of Russia, China. And we go into eight days into Yom Kippur. That's a Hebrew cycle right out of the Bible. It's a new moon. Now, in 19, 1929, the new moon was on September the 3rd. That's when Rosh Hashanah was in 1929. And here we are today. I'm not saying there's any correlation, but it happens to be a big lunar cycle. And it, there's an old thing in the, old, on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange that uh, they always banter around is you buy on Rosh Hashanah and sell on Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur is the high holy day. That's the day of atonement. That's the holiest day in the Hebrew religion. So that's always a very slow day in the market. But uh, we're going to take a little break here. 877-927-6648. rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I'm afraid that we're not going to have Joe as our guest today, but let's take a quick look here uh, at the Bitcoin. Now, what I've done here is I've posted the uh, Bitcoin going back to that April high where we had a three drive to a top pattern when it was making 64,000. Uh, then you'll notice we dropped all the way down uh, to the 382 retracement, not quite to the uh, 28,000. From there, we rallied up. And uh, over the weekend, we had the news of San Salvador uh, beginning to take Bitcoin as a thing, and they actually bought 400 Bitcoins. I don't know where they got the money for the 400 Bitcoins, but it must be on margin. The thing that I'm trying to point out here, remember, boys and girls, I'm a old, old cowboy from uh, reform cowboy out of Terre Haute, Indiana. So uh, the uh, things that I'm looking at are all technical based. There's not anything related to uh, fundamentals that I'm looking at. But if you'll see the three drive to a top pattern that was present back at 64,500, and you look to where we were coming in today, you can see a very clear three drive to a top pattern coming in at that 1.6. 1.8 level up around that around the 52, 53,000 level. Um, that should be a, a very, very important spot to look at. We've already broken down. I, I heard that the quote now was down about 12 percent. That the market was trading below uh, 50,000. So I don't know what. I'm not involved with this, boys and girls. I'm just giving you the technical skinny as I see it. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that. Very, very important. So that's what it looks like. Uh, the first support you would look at here would be a 382 off of the whole move. So you go from 28,000 up to 53. 53 from 28 is 27. So 27 back would be 17,000 points. That would take you into about 42,000. Let me see, 53, no, 30, right around 32,000. So keep an eye on. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. 38,000. Keep an eye on 38,000 in the Bitcoin as the first place of looking at uh, for support. Uh, the chart that concerns me the most, folks, is why corn is breaking down so much. It may be that people are not uh, are, are canceling orders for the corn that they bought, which is certainly possible. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We got to do one thing at a time, you know. As we as we look at these markets, remember, folks, these markets are totally different. The Nasdaq is totally different than the S and P. The S and P is totally different than the Russell because of the way that it's indexed. Now, one of our friends 
sent us a chart uh, from across the pond here uh, looking about copper. It's an ETF. And you'll notice here that we had a, this is ETF for copper, copper miners is what it is. You can see we had a, a beautiful three drive to a bottom, bottom down here. He was asking, was that correct? And the answer to that question is yes, because if you look at the cycle low from the 21st of June up to where we were on the uh, 22nd of July and to where we were here on the 23rd of August, that is a very symmetrical 22 or 24 day cycle. And you notice we had a very, very strong move, which verifies that's what it was. But if you'll go back and look at the low from January, and this is where your homework comes in, take the January low up to the April high and measure what the retracement is down there at 3230. And you'll notice if you do your mathematics correctly, you're gonna see that that was a 78% retracement of the whole move to the downside. Why is 78% retracement important? Because it's a square root of 618. Now let's remind ourselves, folks, that as we look at these numbers, they are all related to numbers of sacred science. This is the thing that you don't see when you're looking at the Elliott Wave stuff. You know, they just give you the numbers and the ratios, but they do not do the square roots of the numbers very often. Occasionally, you'll see a 1.27 number, very seldom, even more seldom, to see a 786. And it's just as important as the 618 because these numbers, you know, they, they, they change and vacillate because markets react a little differently, but they react differently to the numbers. And that's uh, the main thing that you want to keep in mind as you're looking at those things. Another thing that's very, very important, in fact, folks, is we're into the September-October period. These are the two worst months for the stock market. Sure, there have been months where they've had really good runs, and this may be one of them. We don't know. But if you'll take a look at it, you'll see that what we're watching here is a market that's getting ready to what I think is going to have uh, – it's not just going to be a correction, folks. It's going to be something more serious than that. But I don't know where it is. And you know what, boys and girls, nobody else does either. I'm looking for signs. That's all I'm looking for. I am very good at picking out what the signs are. I don't know. I can't read the minds of the people. But when they're in there buying and selling, that I can read. And that's what I'm looking for is some sign to tell me that, yes, we're getting very, very close. But I haven't seen that sign yet. And when that happens, I'm certainly going to look at We see some signs as we look at the NASDAQ, but that's just one market. You're only looking at about 20 stocks with that NASDAQ 100. That's not very much at all. So you can't do that. When we come back for the break, I want to talk about uh, money flow and the velocity of money a little bit. That's one thing I do understand. And that's from the old days at the Chicago Mercantile Exchange where we used to follow money supply. But the Federal Reverse, re, the Federal Reserve System changed all the rules back in March of 2009 when Bernanke came out with quantitative easing. That changed all the rules of the Fed. Remember the folks, you have to remember that the Federal Reserve has nothing to do with the government. They handle the money supply, okay, but they have nothing to do with the government. They're on Pennsylvania Avenue and they got a big building that looks like it's a government building, but believe me, it's a private bank for private bankers and you're not invited. So what you've got to do is try to figure out what they're doing and what they're doing is not good for the economy. I think you're going to see some things that in the history books will come out and say, oh, my God, why could they allow something like that to happen? And the main thing is, is zero interest rates. Do you know, folks, I heard on the news on Bloomberg yesterday that there are 71 countries that have zero interest rates that people are still buying their bonds. I, I mean, I just don't understand that. You're giving them money to lose money. I mean, I just don't understand that one. I've seen a lot of crazy ones through the years, even the dot-com bubble and all the other stuff, but negative interest rates has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. I mean, that's I know they, they, they wrap it around inflation and all the other stuff, but don't make any difference, this old cowboy. I didn't come in on a burrow. I came in on a, uh, a nice little Indian pony, and I'll be doggone if they're going to convince me that interest rates are going to be negative here in the United States, especially the way they're spending money like it's coming out of the woodwork. And it has to come out of the woodwork because the money's just not available. They have to create it from somewhere. We're going to take a little break here, folks. 877-927-6648. Ah, uh.
Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we're going to have to pass with uh, Mr. DiNapoli today. Evidently, he's got to uh, hold on. I don't think he's on. Is he on live or not? Uh, well, it was supposed to be Joe DiNapoli today, folks, but I knew there was going to be a slight problem because he wasn't able to answer the phone or the other thing. And he hasn't been feeling well, so if there was anything wrong, it was most probably related to that. Nothing life-threatening. It's just that he's uh, taking care of his health and he, he doesn't uh, need to be uh, spending time with us when he needs to be recuperating. So that's really what we're paying attention to here today. All right, let's talk a little bit about something and I know a little bit about, and that is the uh, money supply stuff. We used to follow this quite a bit back in the old days. Let's get this up here. This is the flow of money, folks. Let's get this up here, and you're going to be able to see this. This is the velocity of money, folks. You can see here from 2012, the velocity of money has been dropping and dropping and dropping, and the reason for that is because the Fed has been pumping the bejeebies out of the money supply. They just keep pushing money uh, that's not moving. This is the problem. You see, this is a lot of money out there, but it's not moving. In other words, when the Uber driver takes your money, he usually goes to fill his car up with gas. The gasoline guy goes to buy new dress dresses for his two twin daughters and stuff like that. But that is just not happening. The velocity of money is, is breaking down. In the 1970s, when we were having super infl inflation, I was following... Um, uh, what was it, the guy's name out of Switzerland? Oh, sex, I was just talking to him. Anyway, we, we were watching the velocity of money because the velocity, we had a lot of goods being chased by a lot of dollars. 
and that made inflation, excuse me, fewer goods being chased by a lot of dollars, and that mean that the inflation went crazy. That was also related to the fact that we had $2 gallon oil back in the early 70s, and then it went to 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 144, which I will never forget because that was the day that Goldman Sachs came out with their special report on crude oil that it was going to $200 a barrel and be prepared. And that was the high of the market. And uh, I should have kept that report and reminded myself to add it to the books with the ex experts speak. I keep this book by uh, uh, Victor Kavinsky and uh, Christopher Surf on my bookshelf here because it's a book of about 600 pages about all the things that the experts have said that we're wrong about. And folks, I'm, I'm supposedly one of those pseudo experts. The difference is, is that I base mine on what I see on the charts, and that means that when I'm wrong, I can see that usually, sometimes not as much as I'd like to see it, but that's what I'm trying to do is to follow what that is. But if this velocity of money ever starts to increase, then you're going to start to see inflation. But right now, you know, you're not seeing it, and you're seeing signs of basically deinflation, folks, disinflation. Look, look at gold and silver. Look at the long-term weekly charts on the. I posted a weekly chart of silver. There's nothing bullish about that chart. That's got you know three down trim. This is a one three five pattern on the up at twenty four uh, ninety eight uh, on Friday. That that's a, a big thing. And the same thing with the gold. That's nothing. And then when you look at this chart here, this should scare people that are in the in the agricultural business. Look what they're doing to the corn market, our largest corn crop. You know, we're ready to take out the lows that we made back in July at, uh, you know, 509. Now, I'm going to be looking to be a buyer of corn in here somewhere because it's going to be a spot where, you know, the patterns line up and whether there's going to be a break in the supply demand situation or not. But there's nothing there. I tried I tried last week in, in meal for just a little bit. We took, I took a small loss in that. And that's uh, that, that's the way it goes. You know, you got to do one of these. You, when, when you're a pattern recognition swing trader, folks, the only thing you have working for you is the pattern recognition that you're looking at. That's one thing. How do you control the risk around that pattern? We've talked about that many times. It usually comes down to three or five hundred dollars. And the most important thing all is, are you able to take the trade by taking the responsibility for it. Now, I had a whole bunch of trades that I posted on the video that I went out Sunday night, being short gold and silver, being short crude oil, being short euro, stock index views short, NASDAQ with three drive to a top is short, treasury bonds continue to go lower. You know, there were seven trades there. Now, I can't do all seven trades for everybody, so I had to pick it. So the two that I picked, of course, were the euro and the and the, the, the crude oil because they were the easiest ones to see. I mean, they, they literally had uh, everything you could possibly ask for as, as looking for it for, uh, you know, something that would think it would be, you know, pretty much uh, spot on. So I, I that's why I'm – that's why I bring those up is to be able to uh, – to see, you know, what they do. Let me get this crude oil chart up because it's such a nice one that, you know, you a third grader could see that there was some symmetry in this. Here's the here is here's where we are here, folks. Look, there's there's your crude oil. This is a daily chart. You'll see the market came down, rallied up nine days to the 78 percent level. We went short there. We covered it way down there at the bottom. And then, well, not quite at the bottom, but there's still substantial profit of more than six six handles. And then look what we did. Another nine days up. Right on where are we at? We're right at the 61% retracement of the whole move down. And so I think, uh, you know, th there's not any mystery here. If you just count the number of days, you can see it's nine days up, nine days up. And we've been, we went from 69.30 today all the way into the low 67. So, you know that was uh, that was two handles with virtually a risk of about you know 400 bucks, so that that's what pattern recognition is all about. I'm not trying to you know in, invent a new alarm clock or anything. I'm just trying to put these things together. Now, <laughs> so, I have to. I've been saving this for the end of the day, but since Joe didn't show up, I'm going to do it now. I got a question from uh, someone in the UK where you know firearms are uh, you know totally banned i mean you just if you even look at a gun in a magazine they do have hunting rifles and stuff but anything else is you just it just can't have it the question that the gentleman has is to discuss uh, some of the weird things that i've had in my life uh with guns and i'm going to bring one up here right now you, you i know you folks that are that are young are not going to believe this but let me just give you a perfect example how crazy things can get 
Uh, we're talking 1963 now, folks. Okay, I've been out of college for a year, and and uh, the Vietnam War has just just beginning to go. Okay, this is a rifle from World War II. It's called a boys anti-tank rifle. It's a boys rifle. Those shells that you're looking at, folks, are nine inches long. Okay, and they weigh about a half a pound. They, well, I don't know what they cost now, but this gun, I bought this gun with 20 rounds of ammunition for $200 in 1963. Why did I buy it? I have, I can't remember. For the life of me, I can't remember. I remember two things about the gun. We were, I was still in Terre Haute at the time. I hadn't uh, gotten out of my graduate school, and so uh, I was, you know, taking graduate classes. But uh, we we took it out to the Terre Haute dump where you know everybody would because there was a big hill there. You know, they people would use their guns to, you know, as a target range and stuff. So I took out the boys' rifle. It was with one of my buddies, and uh, we we put we had just took two shells with us out of the. 20 because they weighed so darn much. I mean, you had to, the gun itself weighs 30 pounds, folks. So it was a two-man operation. One man had to carry the operate, carry the ammo, and so I put that. We put the two rounds in one at a time, a single shot, and uh, you'll see it, it drops down into that. And we we fired at an old car that was all rusted out that had been there for a long time. And man, it made such a loud noise, you couldn't believe it. And boy, when it hit that car, it just took it up in the air about 50 feet straight down and the sheriff was right behind us anyway didn't do anything to us but he wanted to fire the gun and he did so that's it i sold the gun for 250 dollars Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, let's, uh, people are saying, why don't we show things that are happening as opposed to things that have already happened. Gee, I can't do that. I've got to wait to see what happens first, and then I can tell you. I posted a chart here at Tesla, folks. If you'll notice here, we hit that 78% level, and uh, we went above it and then backed off a little bit. And what we do this morning, we opened uh, at the uh, 740 level, which was the old high. We immediately rallied up uh, $22. That's not much on the $700 stock, but we did clear that, and it moved up you know, substantially. So that's the main thing. When you see that, that tells you, hold on one second, I'm getting a little bit of a, uh, on your chart. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let, I, I see what happened. Oh, that's a, that's a function of, uh, hold on one second. That's a function of technical difficulties on the Pesavento pattern. Let me get this up. All right, now I think you can see the, uh, the Tesla. We, we had that pattern, but when it gaps up like that, I don't know what the news was. It probably uh, pretty substantial, I imagine. But you'll notice here that we uh, we gapped up uh, above those old highs right on the opening and rallied $22, backed off just a little bit. But that's an important number here uh, in the uh, Tesla because it cleared it with relatively ease and good volume. So you have to assume this thing is still going higher uh, because it broke above that 78% level. That's that's what you've got to be aware of when things like that happen and you're looking at something, you certainly got to pay very, very close attention to it. Now, one of the things I did do, because Mr. Jimmy wanted to see something in real life, well, I posted a chart of the NASDAQ, and I said we should be topping here uh, right about now at around the 1699 level. So far, we've been to 1693. We're going to see if we get to 1699 or not, but that's exactly A, B, C, D. I know it's a two-minute chart, but this is a short show, so we shortly time, so we've got to be able to use shorter-term patterns to see these. They work pretty much on any pattern or anything you want to be watching, but I would be uh, uh, remiss if I didn't show you a couple of these intraday, you know, to give you an eye. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but nothing works, nothing works 100% of the time. Uh, so that's the main thing you want to keep in mind. Let's take a quick look here at one of the stocks that we've been following for quite some time that is very, very strong today. And let's, and we hold on one second here. Oh, I've had a little bit of a problem. Just give me one second here, folks, as we're ha we, we've got Apple really, really screaming today, which is good because we are now above that 1.618 expansion number at 156. We're at 156.85 right now. Let's get this up here so you'll be able to see that. And so we're going to have a pretty good idea of what's going to be looking at here. So that's it. Uh, Mr. Z is asking a question here. Let me see if we can handle his question. Um, let's see the 1517, um, 1542 reshort. Uh, th this, that, uh, he's asking he was a new moon top. The new moon, um, the new moon was at, uh, that's today. So if there's a top today on the new moon, I don't know if it's going to or not. All I'm just looking at are these patterns. And that we just hit the ABCD number that I posted about 15 minutes ago. We just hit 16.99 in the uh, 16, 7, 5770. So Jimmy D, that's what I did in the future. Whether you like it or not, I don't know, but that's that's what I would do. I sold it there, and you know, I don't have to risk very much. I'm risking about 10 points is $200, but if that's a completed pattern, exactly where I think it's going to go. And remember, ABCDs only work about 62% of the time, but 62% is better than any odds you get it in Vegas or the horses. That's for sure. Let's keep in mind it's very, very important. All right. Now, another question that someone asked me is, how do I determine risk control? Folks, risk control depends on two things, the volatility of the market that you're trading, and then also the size of your account. If you've got a small account, folks, you know what? You can't trade some things. You can't trade crude oil. You can't trade uh, gold and, and stock indices. And you can trade bonds, of course, but you know you have to get into the foreign currencies and things like that. We only have to risk a few hundred dollars. These others swing around a lot. Of course, they work great when they work, but when they don't work, it's not very much fun. And remember, you only take the winning trades. 
Warren Buffett's rule number one, don't lose money. Rule number two, don't break rule number one. But you have to trade, so there's going to be losses involved, but you've got to be able to figure out what the losses are as it relates to the amount of money that you have at risk. It's not how much money you make, it's how much money you don't lose. That's the whole key to what we're doing here. You know, I would love to be long corn here, but I can't, for the life of me, I can't find a good spot to buy it, at least till it takes out the 509 level. And then I've got a chance of saying, okay, there was no selling down there. Then I've got a chance to be a farmer again. But until that happens, you know, I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. So we'll have to wait and see. Okay, that's what we're paying attention to here. So let's see what we've got. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. But take your time, folks. The lines are so filled right now that you're not going to be able to get through for a few minutes. But if you can, give it a shot because there may be a line will pop up if 10 or 15 people cancel their incoming calls. So we'll be moving on. Mr. Steve, Steve Rhodes calls me the jackal. It's more like the it's more like the uh, the old uh, the old not even a bobcat. What is the darn things that we have here? The jackalope. We have a jackalope here that's absolutely gorgeous. Here, these are uh, rabbits, folks. They have ears like a. Uh, you just giant ears they're 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 jackalopes here in the desert and they're really uh they're really quite uh amazing they and they are so strong they can they can jump so high you just can't uh, believe it anyway let's move on here to the next one um i marshall i hope your weather's clearing up up there in washington because i got a uh, email from my friend Dennis uh, up in Portland, and he told me that uh, he had he and his wife went over to the beach because the, the smoke from some of this stuff was so bad that it was affecting her breathing, and so they had to go over to the uh, ocean where the weather was better, and we'll see what's going on here. 877-927-6648. We're back to 1701 now in the uh, – Anybody that had the order sitting there at 17, you would have been filled. So you put a stop at 157.10 and roll the dice and see what happens, and we will go from there. I will do my best to try to get uh, Joe DiNapoli on this week if we can, and if we'll be able to see. if That's one of my favorite Bruce Willis movies, folks, is The Jackal. And that, that's, actually a, that's actually from a true story. Uh, so it's uh, what was his name? Was was it was Carlos? Was it Carlos the Jack? Yeah, that was Carlos the Jack. It was a great, great, great film. Really, really like it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, that's the way it goes here. J Jerry from Tennessee calling for radium and platinum. Boy, oh boy, uh, Jerry. I don't know anything about radium, and I know very little about platinum. So other than platinum has had not very much of a rally. It's weaker of the 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 harmonic number. The harmonic number in gold is 32, uh, 32 to 34 is what it usually act is what it usually is. So right now we've gone. We had a high of 36, 1836, and we're down. That we got down to 93. So we dropped uh, quite a bit more than 40 dollars. So it, it's close to it's it's close enough here with about you figure 30, 30, 35, 40 bucks. So that should be a bottom. I said that in the uh, in the video that I sent out, the first correction should be around that level just below 1800. And that's where we are. You want to watch this rally in gold? It's going to be an important one if we get it. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Hi, folks. This is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the charts of uh, Apple, as you can see, exploding to the upside. Look at, and I posted uh, uh, best, whatever we call it, Netflix. Uh, very, very strong. I mean, some of these are just, uh, and also Amazon, you know, blowing, or going up considerably. Surprise, stock market is not, up, up not a lot more given that, but the NASDAQ is leading. If you did that NASDAQ, you put your stop, you only risk $200, seven, 10 points. If it works, fine. If it doesn't work. Folks, here's where the problem lies. Uh, someday, down in the future, okay, not today, but down in the future, there's going to be articles written about what happened in Afghanistan. Uh, that red layer, for, forget that red arrow, I put that in there, uh, got that by mistake. But anyway, you can see Afghanistan uh, right in the middle there. That's why I wanted to show you uh, why it's so very, very important that we had a huge air base that we don't have anymore. But the fact that we left all of those weapons there and we left American uniforms there, thousands of them, and you know, $85 billion worth of material, uh, in the in the future, they're going to write military books about the biggest military blunder in the history of the United States was when they they closed that air base. It's okay to close the air base, but you want to destroy everything on the air base. You don't want to leave this uh, to your to your enemy. I mean, that's just. Uh, I mean, all you have to do is read the Art of War one time, and you're going to realize that was a mistake. But uh, that's my two cents worth. That's the end of the political rhetoric that I have for today. And uh, in using the words of uh, Senator Everett Dirksen from the Senate of uh, State of Illinois way back in the 60s, be sure to vote early and vote often. All right, let's move on to the last thing we want to cover, and that's going to be our guest this week. I do not have anybody covered covered so far until we have uh, Tim uh, Joe DiNapoli on. Uh, I'm hoping to have him on uh, this week and be able to uh, to talk to him because he, he's he's fun. I've known him for a very, very long time, and we want to be able to uh, to remind that. Well, also, we got an anniversary of 911 coming up, and we certainly want to remember that. That's a big one. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 